Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Is this it? Is 2024 the year that you've decided to launch your fashion brand? Now that you've decided to make the move, are you clear on all the details that you need to consider in order to take your concept or your idea into a final product? Possibly not, and there's a lot of details to consider, and there's a production timeline to consider as well that is based on the manufacturers and the seasons we're working on. Now, fashion production agencies like mine basically look after a majority of the process, but what if hiring a production agency or a project manager isn't in the budget? This is all too real for a majority of micro brands. You could have the most useful, beautiful, comfortable, insert any adjective you want, product idea in all of fashion, but without a plan, it's not going to be much if you don't know the path to launching your product. And without specific planning and action, your designs may never see the light of day. Or worse, you could be going through expensive mistakes during the production process. You don't want this. As a way to make the production process simpler, I've decided to create this series where every week we will go through what is the next step in the fashion production process. If you're looking to launch something in three months, then maybe you should be looking more into print on demand or blank products. If you are, then this series won't really apply to you because this is more about sourcing your textiles, creating tech packs, choosing your Pantone colors, connecting with manufacturers, starting the sampling process, print on demand and blank products. You don't need to do a majority of that. If you are looking for white label suppliers, you can go to my website. I have a supplier list that's available there. And that is specifically for ready-made products like t-shirts and hoodies and joggers. And, and there's a whole bunch of other products on there also. And if you're wanting something yesterday, then this is definitely the path to take. I frequently have conversations with startups where they are wanting their products launched in three months. Don't underestimate the time it takes to take your vision and create a product from it. Conceptualize it, create the tech packs, find the fabric, go through the sampling process, approvals, shipping. Don't forget you need brand labels and packaging and hang tags. It's a lot. And if you look at it and it's the big picture, it's like, holy sh there's so many details that you need to work through. If we go in quarters and we say, this is what you need to do in the first quarter. This is going to lead you into the second quarter. And then this is what you're focusing on. And we do that throughout the year. It is going to feel so much more paced out and it gives you a chance to gain comprehension around the process. When you're learning, watching the videos, reading the blogs, reading the books, whatever it is you're doing to gain more information, it kind of becomes a place of procrastination because you feel like you're doing something, you feel like you're working on it, you need to know this information and you need to hear it from multiple different sources and then your brand has missed another year. Your idea has stayed stagnant because you were learning to do the thing, but you haven't actually done anything, we want to eliminate all of this because there are so many details to take into consideration. The order of operations tend to get lost. Quite understandably, you may not even know what the order of operations should be. Do you know what season you're selling for? Do you know how far in advance you need to plan ahead? Do you know at which part of the process you need to be reaching out to manufacturers? I can promise you it's not now when you're still in concept mode. I often get DMs and emails asking for garment manufacturers from brands that have yet to start their designs or even register their business. And what if you want to show your garments at apparel trade shows? Do you know how to get started on that? Often brands don't know, especially if they're startups. Since fast fashion has taken what used to be a seasonal industry with spring, summer, and autumn, winter collections, and instead made 52 micro seasons, it's no wonder why startups are confused. But you don't have to keep up with fast fashion. In fact, I really recommend you just take them right off your radar. You're not competing with them. You're not trying to keep up with them. They are not part of what you are working on. They shouldn't even be on your radar. Forget about them. If you're selling your products directly to the consumer or B2C, then you are designing now in January for spring, summer. I'm editing the video and I realized that I had made a mistake when I was talking about which season the hemispheres should be working on at this time. So Southern hemisphere and the Northern hemisphere, I had gotten the seasons backwards. Uh, so if you are manufacturing in the Northern hemisphere, and you are starting now in January, you are working on your late autumn, early winter collection. And if you are in the Southern Hemisphere, you're working on your late spring, early summer collection.
If you give yourself too short of a runway, you're gonna cause yourself a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety. There's too big of an opportunity to make extremely costly mistakes, especially when you're sampling, or if you're deciding to skip parts of the process because you wanna rush things along. Give yourself a long runway, and as you become more seasoned, the process will become more natural, and therefore a little bit more simpler because you'll know what to expect. But if you're just starting out, slow and steady does it. Each week, I will show you what bite-sized task you can take to help you go from having an idea and actually making a move on creating your fashion brand. From the concept to final production, including fabric sourcing, branding and packaging, sampling and quality control, and everything in between. Wait, pause. I didn't realize my mic ran out of battery when I was wrapping up this video. If you do want to follow along this series, then tap the notification bell so you don't miss a week. Thanks for watching.